It ain't just a name, it ain't just a word, it's a lifestyle. Is your, is your too much noise? Because I can use the shipping clippers. Yeah. Nigga, don't compromise my cut for the motherfucking audio. <laughs> 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 my bar is for your barbers and stars. Mr. Fast. Uh, hey, he wasn't lying, bro. We got one. Tone uh, Trump. Uh, West Philly to the world. This is all my brothers locked up doing life. We be getting money on the corner, moving white. So we gon' do it, we don't care what you don't like. Uh, might as well do it, do it, do it right, uh, man. Gonna do it. I always wanted to be involved in movies and shit. So the first movie I do, I could have called Hot from Black and Nobel called me um, a couple years ago. And um, Ashley Andrew Quavis is a husband and wife. They New York Times bestselling authors. They do the urban novels. They had a uh, film called Hard Six called, and um, they turned one of their books into a movie. And he had hired me to play the star of the movie. Fast forward up to you know my experience shooting West Side Story. Now when I go shoot West Side Story, I'm the, I'm the executive producer on that. You know me and Tay are doing that. We're all our own bread, everything. That's our movie, so that's different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm paying for everything. We working with all newcomers. You know what I'm saying? We put all our money into the production body. We make sure we have the best cameras. We, we, we got we got more than one red cam out there in the blizzard, the worst storm in the East Coast in like 10 years. And you look at my corner store video, you see that you know we out there in blizzard conditions. But, we gorilla film, no license, no none of that shit. I can always count on brother Sid to keep me focused. Oh, I ain't see cool, bro. You ain't see cool around here? I don't like to push you in the middle now, brother Sid, but somebody called me, told me they seem to come out your store. That's why I just need to holler at Quill. But you said you ain't seen him, right? No, I ain't see Quill cool, like three days. Damn, man. Oh, my law. He was the type of person that always tried to get me the hot. Crazy around here right now, shit. Keep me in your new eyes, man. What you doing? You trying to. Kinda pull a brother back. Now everybody else try to tell you what you wanna hear, but it's so much bullshit going around me right now. It's crazy. What time is it, bro? So you know, man, when we shoot West Side Story, you know that's you know that's that's on the muscles. So it's a little different. Absolutely. Ah. Fast forward to 2015. Um, I never forget. You know, I'm on social media hustling. All I do on social media is hustling. I'm on there pushing my brand. I check my Twitter and um, I got a private message from uh, Mike Fazio. Big shout to Mike Fazio. He says, you know, he got a call from somebody. They wanted me to be a part of a, uh, the new Rocky movie. Rocky, like, he said Rocky or something. That's all he said. Rocky was going to move. So I'm like, I wonder if that's what they want to do. somebody from Philly to be up from New York for that. Then when we get on the phone, Faz goes in telling me about, you know, oh, Rocky, like Sylvester Stallone Rocky. So I'm like, all right. I've been on the grind since a young boy Been the man of the house since a young boy I ain't seen my dad since a young boy I'm trying to leave some millions for my young boy I got it from the muscle since a young boy The script they sent me was real short, but you know, I'm still excited I'm reading this joint, I'm studying I'm studying this joint like, like Yo, I'ma make sure I get this part, I'm reading it, I'm, I'm memorizing it I go in there, I'm so excited, I go in there ready to read you know, never nervous, you know what I mean? I, 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 I prepare myself mentally and spiritually so much for moments like this. I don't be having like butterflies. I'm, I pretty much go and I be thanking my Lord before I even get the opportunity. Like, you know, I, I know I got this. Not arrogant, but just confident. And, and I go meet with Ryan Coogler and um, you know, right away, you know, the brother, one of the, one of the most humble people you've ever meet despite, you know, his his celebrity and his, his success, you know what I mean? It's a dude that you know, I mean, blew up first film, take right off, and he went awards from all the festivals and people, you know, not just me, but everybody feels he should've got an Oscar now. And um, as he's explaining to me my role, he's explaining to me the film, and I'm like, you know, I'm thinking like, all right, I'm ready to read for it, and he's like, yo, you, you know what I mean? I'm, I was just hoping you would do it. So I'm like, and then as he said that, I'm like, wait, I ain't got to read for this joint, like I already got the role. So he like, explains to me that I have the role already, he wrote the part in just for me. You know, he was a fan of my music. Him and his brother, shout to his little brother, um, back southwest. And he takes me to meet the executive producer, which is the big money behind the film. Took me to meet the stunt coordinator. I told the stunt coordinator right away that I want to do my own stunts. Fast forward even further up, as they give me the script, I realized on my scene I was supposed to have an honor rise. They they had pasta. And Ryan, shout to Ryan. Ryan was like, you know, man, maybe some of you know, maybe you know, I know you got, you know, I know you got a dope squad. Maybe some of your boys might want to try to get in this joint, and I'm like, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fight for that. So I called Eric Cash and I was like, yo, however many people need to be in my scene, I got somebody for it. You know what I mean? I called all my brothers up, 
Shank, I hit y'all up. What I tell you, Shank? Send me. A, I said, email me right now. Picture. Woody, Woody, Woody. You know what I'm saying? I hit all my brothers up. You know what I mean? I told all my brothers, look, man, we about to do this movie. I was claiming it. Like I ain't even about y'all trying out for it. They ain't try out either. I got about no exaggeration. I got about like 15 people paid for the Creed movie. It was just a beautiful thing, man. And like just being on set was, was so motivating. Like getting a chance. You know, my first film. You know, I'm in a scene with you know Michael B. Jordan. You know what I mean? Who, who, you know, this month, you know, he's he starring in Fantastic Four. He also starred in Food Girl Station. And, Shut up, Mike. You know what I mean? The Wire. You know, Tessa Thomas, who, you know, who's in my scene, who, who's super, super talented. Young Black Hollywood. Behind the scenes, man, everybody was real welcoming. And um, it was bossed up, you know, having my own trailer, having my own assistant. You know, they had somebody there doing um, hair and makeup. But of course, you know, like always, not only did I have my barber, in the movie, but I made sure he was able to cut my hair, which wasn't easy, because I'm like, you know, they had the dude to cut my hair, but I don't play about my hair. And um, everything from the catered food, like I said, the hat on my trailer, the, the whole experience, and all it did for me, man, it turned me to an animal, man. It's like, I just want, I want to do this six times a year. And, and the good thing about my team, you know, with us having to get shot by a girl production and stuff like that is, when I got an idea, we could bring it to life. I got one of the best directors in the game. Like, you know, it, like, if I would've just did it by myself, it still would've been dope. But imagine, like, how many people can say that? Your first movie, you know what I mean? You got your whole real crew in there. Your first movie, you know what I mean? Your little sister. You want for your say, brother what you want for yourself. want for your brother what you want for yourself. Everything go back to the, to, to the faith, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how you truly get blessed.